we're going to do a hot process. Um, I'm going to do it just like I did my cold process, the buttermilk honey soap. Oh, it smells so good. I just love the smell of buttermilk and honey. Honey smells so good, even though I don't like honey too much. I could eat some of it on my peanut butter, but mm, I don't know. The rest of the rest, no, I'm good. Just like I don't like marshmallows, but like there's these chocolate Easter bunny marshmallows. They're little small ones. They're pretty good, but I can't do too much marshmallow. But um, anyways, off the subject, we're going to do hot process. I got my oils in here and all my clays and stuff. Now we're going to add the lye. Now I'm going to give this stir, a blend, stir, whatever. And I just want to get it to, it gets to a um, trace. getting there. Creamy. Now we're thick. Now it's out of trace. Okay. So we're going to knock off there. Then we're going to cover this up. Looks like it's cooking up already. So I don't think it's going to take very long. I'm just going to lay it out of sight here. Oh, crud. I wanted to put that titanium dioxide in my um, my water. Son of a biscuit. Let's see. We're just going to add it now, y'all. Don't think it's gonna hurt none. I just wanted a more creamy base to start out with because it is the honey soap. Um, I'm gonna use the true yellow again from TKB and the 24 karat gold from TKB. Okay. By the way, can we just take a moment? And bask in all its oh my goodness glory I love this gold mica I just want to this spoon right here that I dug it out with <laughs> to put it in the cup let me see it's so sparkly I just want to carry it around with me in my purse <laughs> that's ridiculous anyway this is the 24 karat gold from TKB tkbtrading.com they got good prices on their micas, and their micas are awesome. So, we're going to cover this up with um, cellophane, if I can find it again. Um, let me cover this up, and I'll bring you guys back when it starts to, uh, starts to cook process. Hey guys, I just wanted to come back and let you see what this is doing. This is so beautiful. The middle of it looks like it's hard, though. Look at that. 
It's like jello. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and start. You don't have to start, but you can. I think this is the titanium dioxide. About to stick blend it. No, it is not yet cooked. What are you doing, Daisy May? You do just what Chewy did. He'd sit by the back on the back porch. It smells like cooked soap. I love that smell so much. I love the smell of cooked soap. I need a pot holder, guys. That's hot. back up for a minute and then come back <sighs> I just uncovered it guys and we are in mashed potato stage looks just like mashed potatoes especially seems how I colored them <laughs> hey, that's funny that's funny dinner anybody okay let's cover it back up for a minute not quite yet y'all not quite yet we do have um, crud I hate trying to stretch out <laughs> <laughs> um, I do have a, I say we all the time while well, you guys are with me because you're watching. So, we have our honey uh, buttermilk mixture here. Yummy. I'm not going to add till the end. I don't want to cook the nutrients out of that. And then we got the yellow, true yellow gold mica here. And 24 karat gold. And then we got the fragrance oil, which is the honey bunny from Nature's Garden. Again, smells delicious. They sent that one to a sample to me. Oh no, it was on one of the little flowers that they sent to you guys to eat to us. And, I, and it smells so good on the flower. I'm like, yeah, I gotta get that one. <laughs> and then the Nature's Gardens Baby Bee Buttermilk type. So, it's bubbling up over again, but we're gonna wait a few minutes. We'll bring you right back. Okie doke, we're back again. And again and again. I know that gets boring. That's why I hate doing hot process. But we look, I look, looks like we're still in the mashed potato almost vaseline stage you guys so it's getting there i can tell by the sides and i hardly ever unless the soap is like uh, just a rebatch or something i don't hardly ever scrape down the crusties and in, in the side of my soap if they're real bad they aren't that bad yet they're still fluid so I never, that's just like having white, already cooked, overcooked chunks of soap in your end result. So, I don't, I don't do it. I mean, y'all can, but I don't. All right, we're going to give this a few more minutes, guys. Okay, guys, we've got cooked soap here. So, we're going to go ahead and throw our mixture of honey, melted honey, and real honey. And buttermilk. I'm going to give this a stir. I didn't want that cooked in right away. You see we've got soap already. It's already starting to bubble up, you guys. Oh, goodness. I might have waited too long to add that. Crap. Well, let's go ahead and add our fragrance oil. Maybe that'll calm down some. Turn this off. It's going to be a fluid hot process. Just got to get that water stirred in there without the soap bubbling up on us there we go there we go guys and it smells delicious crap i need to put my colors in guys almost forgot about that all right let's just go ahead and pour it in yellow gold it's gonna be so pretty normally i don't do that much color in my soap but this one is a large batch so it's gonna need it Look at that. 
pretty. Let me get this off of here so I can so I quit smoking. Um, pot holder. Take this off. Matter of fact, we're just, you know, we're still going to take it out. Oh, it's hot. Don't try that at home, y'all. Set this aside. Somewhere it's not going to burn you. Set that over there. We'll push this aside. Ooh, Lord, I have mercy. Where's my rag? <laughs> That's burning hot, y'all. We're going to put it in these. So you guys can see me. Spill a little bit of gray over there. Still pretty fluid, so I can get it in my mold. The only problem with hot process is it starts to cook up and set up real quick. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, we're going to detach this. Put that over there, and we're going to start scooping. Hopefully you guys can see me. Cool. So I know right back here you guys can still see. process single bars. I'll have to tap this down here in a minute. Ooh. I don't want to make too much of a mess. Normally hot process is messy. I might just go ahead and fast forward you guys through this part so you guys don't gotta sit through this boring part. We'll be right back. We got this into the molds, and I think for pro hot process, that's pretty nice and neat there. So I'm going to bang this down real quick. All right. Pretty flat. Nice job, Christina. Nice job. <laughs> Anyways, well, um, I'll probably I'll probably bring you guys back when I unmold these here in a couple days. So these are just regular hot process uh, soap bars. They're not shampoo. I know usually I make my shampoo bars in these molds here. But I do have shampoo bars over here. They smell extremely yummy. Hot process shampoo. And this is not the full coconut one. I have a full coconut video. Uh, shampoo bar. But this one has a lot of good stuff in it. Like conditioning stuff. So anyhow or anywho. Catch you on the next video guys. Bye bye now. With the uh, buttermilk. Buttermilk. Honey, hot process soaps. And I just realized they was done. I just did these. I mean, they're still a little soft on the bottom, of course. But I just did these about maybe an hour and a half ago. Maybe. But look, they're just as pretty. And they smell so good. I can't wait to use these bad boys. Yep, they're unmolding like, voila. Voila. I'm going to let them set. I don't let my uh, hot process set very long. Maybe a week, maybe two. Depends on how much I want to use the soap. Um, but hot process, you should be able to use right away.
And this is super, super sudsy. Super sudsy. I uh, scraped out my crock pot that had the stuff left in it. And I'll have to show you guys when I'm done with this. Oh, that one's like not all the way done. No. <laughs> that one wasn't done. Oh, well. It's all right. Anyways, you guys get the point, right? <laughs> I'm probably not going to mold anymore. I'm just going to leave them be for the rest of the day. Set them in here. Let them, whoops, let them dry out. Let the water evaporate. And all the goodies that I put in there. Put the water in there with the honey and stuff. So I'm going to let all that evaporate. Now I want to show you this is a piece that I scraped off the bottom of my crock pot. My hand's barely wet. I don't want to get those wet. <laughs> Okay, that sudsy bubbly. Bubbly sudsily. That's castor oil. Castor oil and um, coconut oil mixed together. I mean, it has other stuff in it too, but that's what. I'm gonna shut this stupid thing off. That's what uh, gives you your bubbles is your castor oil, which you can get just about anywhere. I get from Nature's Garden by, uh, I think it's a gallon. I'm pretty sure it's a gallon, along with my palm oil. But, yep. All right, guys, I just wanted to bring you back for that uh, the morning of the hot process. And I want to thank you guys for joining me. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye now.